I hope you like this look. I hope you like this look. I hope you like this look. <laughs> what up? <laughs> What's going on, beauty bees? It's me, Byron Shears, Busy Bee, your gay best friend. And of course, I am back with another tutorial here on my channel. I know I'm looking like mad crazy, mad busted. I just got done using a moisturizing rose face mask from Sephora. I really love those face masks. They're only like five bucks. I wanted to do a tutorial today. I know y'all looking at me like, what is going on here? Well, so on today, I'm going to do a tutorial on a updated version or a cleaner version, I should say, not necessarily up updated because not much of not much has changed, but I'm definitely going to do a updated version of my 3D contouring. So I'm going to call this video 3D contouring reloaded because we're about to get this on and popping. I got this idea from the Black Star 721 who commented on one of my videos and she said, I would love if you could update us on your 3D contouring with full face routine. Your lighting has improved and I see that you're more comfortable in front of the camera. Plus, I enjoy your videos. Thank you. So, the Black Star 721, I know it's been about two months ago since you left that comment. I do apologize. And my phone is ringing. So, the Black Star, thank you so much for watching my videos. I thoroughly appreciate it. Thank you so much for getting it and understanding that these videos are for you. If you want to write a comment, make sure you write down in the comments how much you love this video. If you're not a part of the alert gang, what are you waiting on? Like, why are you not a part of the alert gang? Like, seriously? That's the only way you can become a beauty bee. Like, you can't be a beauty bee and just be watching my videos. Like, if you're not a part of the alert gang here on this channel, on our channel, then you ain't no real beauty bee. We want you to be a real beauty bee. Just go ahead on and turn that subscribe button from red to gray. And next to it, a small bell would appear. Hit that small bell, a large box would appear in the large box. You'll see a small box. Hit the small box and then a blue button will say save or done. Whatever it says, just hit the blue button. Let's get this crunk. Let's get this popping. You can go ahead on the right hashtag beauty bee down in the comments. I just wanted to let you guys know that when I'm not posting here on YouTube, I am still studying YouTube and studying my... Um, you know studying my equipment so that way when I do get the time to throw major content out to you guys we are going for top shelf over here because we like top shelf over here that's what we like so without further ado thank you so much for tuning in I thoroughly appreciate you guys and let's get directly into today's video Lego so my face is clearly already washed and I kind of moisturized it already because I used that sheet mask. I do want to go in with a little bit more moisture. The MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Charge Water Gel. Um, I can't say that this is a staple in um, my makeup but and I am not taking my beanie off. If y'all can sit through somebody doing a tutorial with a head rag on or a scarf or whatever you call it y'all can sit through my beanie because baby I be looking at some of my videos honey and my my scalp be scaring me for real now I'm going to prime a little bit with some Smashbox so I'm gonna go with the pore minimizing and then the regular, the photo finish. And I'm gonna put the pore minimizing here and here. So what y'all been up to? I can talk to y'all now like before, I didn't really wanna talk to you guys only because my sound quality was not the best. Now that I have better sound quality, I can do voiceovers and really talk to you guys and get to know you and 
And shout out to y'all who come back every time I upload a video. Like, y'all just give me life, for real. Like, y'all give me hope. And I really appreciate you guys, and I love you guys so much. And because I want a little radiance, like, in my face, I'm, I'm gonna go in with the Gleam by Melanie Mills in Rose Gold. I'm not gonna use a whole bunch. I just want it right in the middle. And I'm gonna use my finger, because... Ain't nobody got time for them brushes. Okay, boom. I feel good. Now I'm just gonna take a small foundation brush. So, I do believe I got this from Sally's Beauty Supply a wee long time ago. And I'm going to use my Ben Eye Dark Cocoa P8 foundation. So at this point, you want to use your deepest foundation. The deepest foundation that you have at this point, you definitely want to use this. Um, your contour shade, whatever you like to contour with. Basically, like, I want to put shadows underneath my foundation, right? So what 3D contouring is, um, if I can break it down, it's like steps. Like, it's like the small steps up into, like, the platform, right? So, if the bed is the goal and then we have the small steps on the side of the bed to get us there because it's too high, then that's... Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. But I'm going to run with that. Like, we're going to run with that. Like, it's steps, okay? So, what I want to do with 3D contouring is that I don't want to have too much cream contour and I don't want to have too much powder contour. So, when we have the both of them, the both of them together, basically, it's going to give us, like, that natural, effortless look. Like, that's what it should look like. In hindsight, let me go ahead and say this. Um, this is not like an everyday foundation routine, which is why it's called 3D contouring. It's not called everyday foundation routine because you definitely don't want to do this every day. Hey, if you want to do this every day, do you. You know what I'm saying? I don't foresee someone having the time or the reason to do this every single day. This is like something extra, like something special. Like, you're going to take um, pictures. That's what this is for. So I'm going to use my LC, uh, yeah, the Glow Enhancer that I'm going to use. And I really love this stuff. So I'm going to do, like, two drops. Nothing major. And instead of going underneath the cheekbone, so a lot of people like to go underneath the cheekbone when they cream contour, which is like a huge no-no because it's cream, so it travels. So you always want to place it higher so that way when you blend it out, it's not like down here to your jaw, okay? So if your bone is here, your cream contour will actually go here. I'm gonna bring mine down. That it's gonna give me more of like a masculine shape. If you are not a man, so if you're a girl, um, you might want to stop like right here. And yes, this is mad dark for me, but that's the whole point. If you use something that's gonna be lighter, which we'll definitely use a lighter shade soon, but if you use something that's gonna be lighter, um, you won't get the effect. I just wanna accentuate that bone. I used to bring this all the way down on my nose. I don't do it anymore because it doesn't look that flattering to me on pictures and I've updated, so you'll see what I do now. So now with a damp um, beauty blender, I like to save the bottom of my beauty blender for my overall foundation color. Um, so with one side of the beauty blender, I'm gonna kinda smash it and we're gonna blend that out. And you should kind of have something like that. And 
And there you go. You should kind of have something like this. It should look like, I don't know, you've been slung through mud or something. It should kind of look crazy, but you should be able to have a clear direction. So as you can see, around my forehead is already contoured and my cheekbone is already contoured. Keep in mind that we haven't put any foundation on yet. So we're gonna go through now and put on foundation. I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation in the color um, 177. I told y'all how much I love this foundation and it's absolutely true. This foundation is bomb for me, and I would suggest you try it out because she might be bomb for you. It looks like a lot, but it's probably because it's a lot. Now I'm going to use the Y505 in the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. And I'm not gonna use much, I'm just gonna use one pump for now. and just buff and blend all over as if you are doing a foundation. You see how it's already kind of doing what we needed to do? Make sure those edges are buffed. Do you see that? I'm gonna move over my Bell Pepper. That's what God bless me with, um, Bell Papa. Okay, so boom. Now that our foundation is on, you can see how it kind of lightened up a little bit. I'm referencing my viewfinder over here so I can actually kind of like see what's going on, what you guys are seeing. But now as you can see that um, basically, <clears throat> we kind of muted everything out. Um, you can still see some depth like around my forehead. You can still see a little bit of depth like on my cheeks. But to reiterate that, I'm gonna go back in with that same brush. I'm not gonna put any extra product on it because it is a, a deeper color, but I'm gonna put it right in those same areas minus my nose. I'm gonna put it in those same areas and then I'm gonna take the same side of my Beauty Blender and I'm going to just buff that in. You wanna do this to your liking, like just because you know, I went over the areas twice. Doesn't mean you have to go over the areas twice. I felt like I lost some of the saturation in the color. So that's why I wanted to go over um, the area twice. But again, like I said, you know, it's all about um, how comfortable you are with your makeup. As for me, I like to go in. You know, if you're gonna do it, just, hey, go in. That's what I think, right? And whatever is left like on my beauty blender, I'm just gonna go reiterate my nose just one more time. So as you can see, that really did like warm me up. I'm gonna use the bottom of my beauty blender and I'm just gonna kind of hit those edges just to make sure. You wanna be blended like all the way. Like in every step you wanna be blended. That's how you really get that flawless finish. Um, not like putting it all on and trying to blend, blend, blend at the very end. Um, Cause sometimes that technique works and most times it does not. So you wanna put something on, blend it out, put a little bit more if you want, blend it out, move on to your next, blend it out, you know what I mean? So now it's time to go in and highlight. So I'm gonna use the full coverage concealer in number 12, and I'm also going to use the Ultra HD concealer in Y41. So I like to bring my concealer lower. I don't really like to start my concealer directly underneath my eye. So that way, by the time I buff it up, I can buff it up and then buff it out 
and I have the least amount of product directly underneath my eye. Um, I know some people can do that. They like put the product directly under their eye. Again, I feel like that's all about like knowing yourself, knowing your face, um, knowing how heavy handed or light handed you are. As for me, that technique really doesn't work. It really gives me like um, a cakey look underneath my eye and it accentuates like the lines that I have underneath my eyes. So I find for me, um, the less product, the better. So a little down my nose. So that's concealer one. Remember I told you like it was steps, right? So it's really all about blurring the eye basically, you know, not um, using one product to achieve the look, but blurring the eye. And this is the second concealer. So I've really been loving doing this. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna continue to do it because um, MAC has discontinued this product, but this is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Charge Water Spray that I love so much. And um, I like to just go in and like, I do like for it to sit, but I like to um, moisten my foundation so that way I don't know maybe it's just in my head but I like to re-moisten my foundation like once it's spread out and it's on because I just feel like it meshes so much better like it blends better with the concealer and I love the dew that it gives my foundation so I'm gonna use the other side of my beauty blender and I'm going to blend out my forehead first while my face is wet. Do you see the gradients? Because we already have the depth. What I love about this trick is that um, when done properly, you don't have to use like as much powder and you're still contoured. I just feel like it looks a little bit more seamless. I'm not gonna say natural because it definitely doesn't look natural, but it does look a little bit more seamless, I think when you do this, which is why this is like special occasion only. So I blend out the concealer and then I go right in with the bottom of my beauty blender, which has the foundation shade on it that we used. And boom. Like, yeah, very, very. Get that bell pepper. And there you go. So now I'm going to set the under eye. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier. I'm just gonna push it directly into the skin. I'm not gonna bake or anything like that. I'm just gonna push it directly into the skin just to set the under eye area. The nose, the middle of the forehead. Come on, lines, where you at though? The powder that I made. So, if you guys want to see how I made this powder, I'll link it in the description box down below. This is not a everyday look. So before you start going off, watch. So I'm gonna take like a big buffer brush and initially I'm just gonna press it into the skin. So we should have something like that, which is like really like a really nice clean canvas. So now I'm gonna go in with my Sasha Powder Blush in matte brown. Now, she plays no games. So you might want to be extra cautious when you use her, unless you are a darker complected sister, then you know, you can have at it. But if you are a brown bone, a medium bone, act like you know. So I'm gonna take this e.l.f. brush, this small stipple brush from e.l.f. I really like it because it's like a dual fiber brush. 
Um, it has long hairs and short hairs, which really helps me blow the product out. I'm just going to tap it. See, I just tapped it twice. And basically, I'm going to go just right in the very middle of where you would contour. So you don't want to start too high and you don't want to start too low. You just kind of want to go right there in the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buff it up more so. Okay, so that's about all I'm going to do with this powder. I'm bald, so it really is not flattering if I use this on my forehead. It's far, far too dark. Um, for all my BDBs who have hair, if you want to use this like just a little bit like around your hairline or even to fill in your hairline, it's perfect because it's not too dark. Like it's really, really dark. Don't get me don't get me wrong but it's not like using like a jet black eyeshadow like it's not black you know what i'm saying so it's perfect like around the hairline so if you want to fill in like around your hairline and like gently buff it out even with the same brush it's perfect for that as for me um, i'm just gonna leave it right here on the hollows of my cheek is pretty much where i put this product and nowhere else so yeah, I'm gonna stop right there. Keep in mind too that with this trick, you don't have to use as much um, of your contour powder. So you always wanna make sure that you go in with a light hand when you first apply your contour powder. Because although we did put powder over our whole face and we really locked in our base, um, you have to keep in mind that underneath the powder that we laid down is a dark, um, foundation shade which is what we use to do our cream contour so it's already dark there so you want to make sure that you go in with a lighter hand when you're using like your darker um, contour powders and then just build up as you want more intensity all right so secondly I'm gonna go in with my MSF dark deepest do not judge me I need another one I don't know what brush this is. I'll link it down below. It's a MAC brush. I think it's a 135 brush, but I'm gonna go in with my MSF and Dark Deepest, and I'm gonna go directly on top of that contour. So this is where we'll start really seeing the benefit of the 3D contouring. Because again, we don't have to worry about really using a heavy amount of um, bronzing powders because we've already laid down that darker base. And you'll see like here, like on my forehead, like. Notice how pretty much the brush and whatever we put on top is like doing the work for us. It's like doing the work for us. Like you really don't have to bronze super heavily um, because it's already in the foundation.
So see, as you can see, there's like a natural gradient that we have to the face. And it looks like my camera is dying. Oh my God, my camera is dying. My battery is dying. So I'm going to, should I keep filming until it dies or should I? Hmm. I'll be right back. All right, Beauty B, so that is it for today's video. I am so sorry that my battery died literally while I was doing a nose contour, but hey, I'm the type of person I like to roll with the punches, so what happens is I am going to make that a video by itself, just a nose contouring video, because I do have a few people that ask me, like, basically how I contour my nose, and as you guys know, that makeup is, like, forever changing, stuff that I did last year, the year before, I don't do. I'll get that video out to you guys really, really soon, actually. But yeah, this is basically the finished look. So, in the middle of me speaking that time, my memory card decides to go out, so. I'm just gonna wrap this video up because this is like really annoying me at this point. Um, if you'd like to stay in contact with me in between uploads here on YouTube, make sure that you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Those are the three sites that you will see me the most active. I do have a Snapchat and a Periscope. You can also follow me there. All is at Busy B, B U I Z Z I E B E E. I'll leave the information card right here. And um, yeah, if you like this video, if you found this video to be helpful, make sure that you leave me a like and a comment down in the comment section. Thank you all so much for coming back. I thoroughly appreciate you. I love your kindness. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So this is 3D Contouring Reloaded. Again, um, keep in mind I don't have on any blush or any highlight because I'm going to record or at least attempt to record another video on tonight. I really just wanted to kind of record my base and um, give you some insight on what I use, why I use it, how I use it. And hopefully you guys can see the effect of the 3D contouring. My face doesn't look really powdery. It doesn't look really cakey and piled on. But when I pull back, you guys actually can see the highs and the lows. And yeah, it just really makes for a really good look and it photographs extremely well. So thank you so much for coming back, um, Beauty Bees. I thoroughly appreciate it. And until next time, I shall see you later. Thank you so much. <laughs> As I always say, and I always will say, love and light, most of all, be beautiful. Later.